Spackman from Adventures of Spackman here again with a, another prepping video. The CDC just said it's not a matter of if, but when it comes to the United States. Um, we had our first death Saturday, yesterday, or maybe it was Friday, I'm not sure, uh, February 28th or 29th of 2020 out in Washington, Seattle, I believe. Somebody, a uh, man in his 50s, caught the virus and unfortunately perished from the from it um so the cdc is really it's coming it's here it's not coming it's here it could start spreading everywhere you don't know so before the panic sets in you should really get to the stores before everybody else does and get some things that you'll need if there's a lockdown uh for a month two weeks one week however long it is you're gonna need some of this essential stuff so let's go through it a little bit so on top of food and stuff you should have for a month, you definitely need some paper towels, uh, <laughs> toilet paper down here, um, tissues, some butt wipes, if you need butt wipes for uh, young children or your own butt to be fresh. Um, some laundry detergent, a big thing of laundry detergent. Now this isn't because stores are going to run out of it, it's because you don't want to run to the store to get it. You know what I mean? Like if... If there's a community breakout somewhere, are you going to want to leave the store to get toilet paper? If you need it, yeah, you're going to want to. Or leave your house to go get toilet paper. But if if you get it now, before that happens, you don't need to leave. Which decreases your risk of getting the, the virus. Uh, long, or dish soap. You need some dish soap. I talked about the wipes, paper towels, tissues. Uh, in addition to all this, you're going to want to get some food. Uh, food that you normally eat. It's not going to be long-term storage. So anything you normally eat is fine. We have a bunch of uh, pastas, uh, different different kinds of pastas, mac and cheese, spaghetti sauce. I bought a, a few bags of frozen meatballs. Um, in addition to that stuff that's shelf-stable and freezer-stable, I also bought uh, family packages of uh, ground beef and chicken. I divided those up into bags uh, for individual meals and froze those in my freezer. Um, I got chips, stuff that we owe, that we're going to eat no matter what. Whether we have to quarantine ourselves or not, we're going to eat the food. It's not going to go bad uh, in the time that we're going to use it, so it's fine. I also got some bacon. Bacon's good for a few months, four, I think. Uh, I bought six, six uh, packages of bacon. Which was strange. At my Hannaford, they were almost completely out of bacon. I don't know if that was people prepping and clearing the shelves. But bacon is a long-term store, well, short-term storage option. But it's good and it stays in your fridge for months. So I got bacon, um, ramen noodles, two, two big boxes of ramen noodles, uh, pancakes for breakfast, a big thing of maple syrup. What else? Did I say mac and cheese already? I got soups to add to the rice and chicken to make uh, casseroles. I got shake and bake for the chicken. Um, the burgers, I got taco stuff. Taco shells, taco seasoning, salsa, uh, tortilla chips to go with those. Um, yeah, just food, right? Just anything that you're going to eat normally. I bought two dozen of eggs and kept them in the fridge uh, they have a shelf life of two months, right? So eggs are fine. Keep those for two months. Use them when they're going bad. Um, but I bought a bunch of food. I have it in a spare room on a shelf. Just waiting in case we need it. Uh, same with this stuff. This is all on the same shelf too in the spare room. But I got it for the video. Uh, as well as food and this stuff. You're going to want something to boost your immune system. I got some uh, vitamin C. Like, not chewables, but lozenges. The good little candies. Uh, it's got like 200%, 225% of the daily uh, vitamin C. Along with that, I have elderberry gummies, which is amazing for, for flu and cold season. Um, it boosts your immune system. These things are great. Same with the uh, black elderberry cold and flu relief uh, dissolvable tablets that you put in your mouth you use these every three hours and and they work wonders so anything to boost your immune system at this time is is great stock up on that before you can't that stuff will leave the shelves and then you, you won't be able to get it 
I'm not sure if any of this stuff is going to leave the shelves. The one thing I do know is um, it is coming here. My, uh, my friend from work, or one of my friends, uh, his daughter was overseas in Italy for college studying abroad this semester. And their school just gave them the option to leave, which they highly recommended, or stay, which they said life could get very inconvenient and hard uh, if they plan on staying. She was a few towns away from the ones that are quarantined, so she was in the green zone. Uh, so there was red zone, yellow zone, and green zone. Um, before she got on the plane, she was asked simple questions. No tests were done, just questions. What zone she was in. She answered the green one, a couple other questions. She was handed a mask and some hand sanitizer, and she got on the plane to come home to the United States, upstate New York. Um, I, I believe 60 students from that one school are coming back to New York this weekend. Um, so there's 60 potential cases spreading out in the New England, New England of the United States. Um, so that's possible 60 communities just spread out just there, just from one school coming back from Italy. Um, so it, it's coming. I mean, it's not a matter of if, it's or a matter of when. No, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And that when is now. So you need to get prepared for this. You, you really, I suggest you do. You do what you want. Um, I mean, this is what I have for my family. Uh, so if, if it's in our community, we don't have to leave to go to the store. We can just hunker down and feel safe where we are. Um, so yeah, uh, in addition to the food that I already mentioned, um, I grabbed uh, 15 pounds of dry lentils, which are really, they're better than the dry beans I suggested in the other video because you don't have to soak them to get the toxins out and they're like ready to cook already. Um, so that lentils are a good one, good protein source there that are dried and shelf stable. Um, so take what you will from this, add to it if you need. Take whatever you want from it. There's just some suggestions. Uh, the CDC also just mentioned something in the Surgeon General of the United States. Um, said not to buy the masks anymore. The N95 masks says they're not. The particles are too small for the mask to trap. Uh, so they're, they're no use to you and they need them for their medical staff. Um, so maybe you shouldn't run out and try to buy those anymore. I'm not sure. I have them. We're prepared just in case they do work or I, I'm sure they're better than nothing, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. So, so this is all, this is what I'm doing. You can take from it. You can add to it, whatever you need to do. Just get prepared. I'm Spackman from Adventures with Spackman. Thanks for sh joining me on this short uh, video. Just wanted to share my story about my friend from work. Uh, Cause I, that's scary. It's coming. It's not a matter of if it's a matter of when. Thanks for joining me in this adventure. See you on the next one.